My god, why on earth is this so heavy? What the f I can't get out. Did you get him yet? Help me! Help me! I'll take that as a yes. Uh, that hurt. <laughs> Alan John Fuller, what the f are you doing to me late at night? Arg, what the hell did you do? You're gonna go night night like you always do when it's your bedtime. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you if that was a tranquilizer dart you injected me with. And don't think I don't see Sandra and Draken in this scheme you're doing as well. Oh my god Alan, how did you manage to do it in the dark? Bruh, I thought you had glasses for a reason. It's the amount of carrots you've been eating this week dips. I was forced to do that. Alright, you better get the f out of this house before I call the cops on you. Uh... Um, I think we're safe now. What do we do next? Get the ropes. All right, done. Thank God, I'm tired as sh Me too. I'm glad we're in pajamas. I'm tired as well, so let's just get this over with. Put him against the wall next to those old couches and cushions so we can sleep well and we can already see him when we're awake. Yeah, she's got a point. I'm really starting to think this basement was solely for storage purposes since these couches feel new. They might have just been used for a very long time to the point where they're fragile. Maybe. <laughs> What is it? There are spiders on the couch underneath these pillows. The last thing I would want to happen is getting bit by these while I'm sleeping. Then just get them off their webs and sh- I can't. I don't want them to bite me. What if they're poisonous? Oh. Ew. That's disgusting. Dude, that was gross. You never had to splat their intestines out like that. Then quit being such a coward. <sighs> Sometimes Alan just doesn't care about what is too far and what isn't. Don't think I never heard that come out of you. Whatever. Ugh, what just happened? What the hell, I can't get out of this position. And how in the name of God did I just end up in my basement? Alright, whoever the f did this to me is gonna regret this for the rest of their damn life because I'm gonna f***ing call the cops on them. Ivan, do me a favor and shut the hell up. Not until you morons free me from this contraption. This is a crime. It's like 3 in the morning and we haven't gotten enough sleep. I don't give a sh because you just wasted some by committing a f***ing crime like the dickheads you are. Oh, quit being a bitch and deal with it. How old are you? Like five years old or something. I'm turning 47 in six days. Now get me the f out. For sure, like Mondo's Ghana, coming here and save you like a typical bullsh good versus evil ending to a movie. It ain't gonna be like that in real life, mister. So just shut up and let us go back to sleep. Exactly. Give with the times, man. Oh, they're coming. Because they have been to my house multiple times and they know something's wrong with me if I'm absent at the studio. So what? You ain't got no phone, nowhere to move or hide, and nothing to do except sit here and cry and be miserable like a manchild like you would do. You take that back right now, motherfucker. No. You know what? Go f yourselves. We're going to bed, so shut up. I'm literally just talking to a brick wall at this point. Why isn't he answering me? That was the third time in a row. Hey, what's the issue? Ivan hasn't been responding to my calls. I called him three times and there was no response. He's probably driving. He's not. I've seen him respond to my calls while he was. Is his phone on silent? I don't think so. Something's up with Ivan and he isn't telling me. Hey, where's Clatloader Ivan? There's a high chance he isn't in here. Wait, really? Why is that? I'm just as confused as you are. I literally called him multiple times and he's not giving a single answer. Uh-oh. I think something happened to him. That's precisely what I was thinking. Ivan usually responds to my calls almost immediately, but this isn't the case. Check the top floor. We already did. Oh wow, he really isn't here. I'm calling him one more time. Pretty sure it's still not gonna do anything.
nothing. We need to check outside. He might not be outside if he's not in the studio. We have to just in case. Any sign of him yet? I hate to say this to you, but I think Ivan is nowhere near this studio. We'll have to check his house. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Hopefully Platloader Ivan is okay. He better be. Any luck yet? Unfortunately not. We're going to have to check his house. No sign of him anywhere. I checked everywhere around the studio and parking lot. We know. We're going to Ivan's house. I know that. I heard you when I was coming back. Well guys, whoever doesn't drive a car needs to ride with either me or Nathan since those are the only cars out here. Hey, I have one too. What? Since when? Me and my parents bought a car for me a few days ago. Yeah, Martin told us about it the day before while you two were on vacation. I actually had a brain fart just now. No wonder why I saw a strange feeling about that black Hyundai Sonata being parked here. Martin, that's amazing that you managed to get a car for yourself. Now you can drive alone just like me. Yay, it feels good to travel to certain places by yourself. I turned 16 last month and I have yet to get a car for myself. I actually want to get behind the wheel so bad. That's okay. It took me about four and a half months to finally buy my own car, and I'm very proud to have it. Well, me and Oakley are still 15. We have gone behind the wheel multiple times and we both planned a car for ourselves. Either we are buying one car for both of us to drive periodically or we are buying our own separate cars. I suggest the former since you don't have to pay as much money. Though the latter is good too since you have a backup in case the other one gets totaled. We were thinking about that too. We should be able to make our final decision by the time we're 16. Guys, I know talking about cars is cool, but what's our main priority? We know, we gotta check up on Clapper Loader Ivan at his house. Okay. I just wanted to make sure you're still on track. We are. Well, let's get going, and pronto. Damn it you imbeciles, just get me out. I'm getting uncomfortable in this position and I only got like 4 hours of sleep last night because of this stupid crime. Okay boomer, your useless begging and meddling ain't gonna do sh**. I was born 10 years after the baby boom ended. That wasn't what he meant by that. Forget it, let's just get to the point. Then do it and f***ing free me. We're going to do what you should have done a long time ago. And what you should have done a long time ago was free me, or better yet, not put me in this stupid situation to begin with. Just shut up. Oh hell no, you're not doing what I think you're doing. Well whose fault is it for leaving old couches in a basement just to make us clean it all up? And don't you get pissed at us one bit, because we're only cleaning up your basement. We're trying to help you. I have that furniture in here just in case I want to give it away to a homeless person or family. Well what I would do is spend a bunch of money to them and they can buy the furniture for themselves. And we would appreciate it if you could quit your whining and close your mouth. Don't make us do it for you. I'll quit yelling if you don't lay a weapon on that furniture. Well then, have it your way. Well, what didn't need to happen was you three beating the crap out of it. Um, hello, I'm talking to you. We're not done yet. We're cleaning up everything. Well, if you're straight up destroying shit, then it doesn't look like it. Even a deaf person, if not blind, could do a better job at doing that simple task than you brain dead pieces of shit can do. You better reconsider about what the fuck you just said, unless you want to be in the exact same state as that furniture we destroyed. Ugh, fine, I'll take it back as long as you don't cause any further harm to me. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wouldn't want my early birthday present to be a full on bloodbath either. Wait just a second. Are you saying that this entire hellhole I'm forced to watch was planned as a f***ing birthday present for me? Yeah. And you're just acting like a five-year-old brat on just a simple birthday present. Like seriously, go back to preschool. F*** you. It's not our fault. For the kidnapping it is. You need to shut the f*** up. Is there any instance where you can shut up? One f***ing instance. Because I think that loudmouth of yours is making us procrastinate on our work. I'm not making you procrastinate. You're just making this day a living hell for me. Don't make me put duct tape on that damn chatterbox, or better yet, punch you in the throat. Well, a throat punch is actually extremely painful, so I'll just stop talking so you don't do so. Besides, 
I'm just talking to a brick wall at this point. Yeah, thought so. Now watch us do some work, and I mean, watch us. Alright, we have now arrived. What we need to do when we get to the house is check everywhere, and I mean, everywhere, including the attic and or basement if included. Separating is recommended so we can get this done faster. Yay, and keep your ears open for his voice. Exactly. Now let's go inside. Hold on, what if the door is locked? It probably is. If the door is locked, then one of my car keys will do the trick. I know that because I tested it on Ivan's door, and it worked. That's cool. Anyway, let's go. Holy crap. What's the matter? I actually got access to Clapper Loader Ivan's phone. I never needed a passcode. Wow, it's as if you're becoming a hacker. I'm really not. I just got lucky. Anyway, I'm trying to see what evidence he has of his disappearance on his phone. Hey, if you haven't noticed, I saw a security camera in here. Wait, really? Yeah, it's over there. Oh, I see it. Good eye. He must have installed an app on his phone that comes with the camera. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, there it is. What's it called? It's called Cloud Tracker. Our parents have that app as well. Hey, we're in one of its photos. Yeah, all security cameras do that. Now to look for some real evidence. There's a photo or two that was apparently taken at 11 at night yesterday. Hold on, I want to see. Oh my god, is that Alan Fullard? It has to be. And there's photos on where he trapped clapper loader Ivan in a bag and pulled out of his room. Okay, that person's definitely Alan Fullard. And if it was Alan Fullard that straight up kidnapped clapper loader Ivan, then it most likely means the bullying bombers have struck yet again. I concur. That had to have been planned by the bullying bombers. Come on, we need to tell Director Jeff about what we witnessed. Do you have his phone still? Yes. Director Jeff, I think I found where he is. Where is he? He has to be in this basement. I can hear him in there. Well, get the others in here so we can get this situated together. On it. Ugh. What is with the dilapidated furniture? Guys, Martin said that Ivan has to be located in the basement because he can be heard in there. That must explain why this furniture that was destroyed in here. Director Jeff. We found who kidnapped Clapper Loader Ivan. What? How did that happen? Clapper Loader Ivan has a security camera in his bedroom. It's hooked to an app called Cloud Tracker which is an app that sends pictures to your phone. Olivia managed to access the phone which in turn led to her accessing photos of what happened to the guy on camera. Well crap, we need to get going immediately. Yes. Absolutely no time to waste here. Now, you keep that mouth shut from now on, and if I hear a peep out of you, you're eating a punch to the throat. Actually, tell me where the duct tape is. Stop right there. Your dormant to Ivan ends now. Well, I shouldn't be surprised. You assholes always find me. All of you, free Ivan at once. Hell no. We did this because we want to clean up his basement, since there's unnecessary furniture in here that we destroyed for him. No wonder why there was destroyed furniture next to the basement's entrance. And what you said is completely false. We also know you kidnapped Ivan and took him to his basement. Dude, we didn't do nothing. Are you sure? Because this says otherwise. What the hell, Alan? I thought you checked for security cameras. Ivan had security cameras. He had one in his bedroom and it caught you doing the entire trap in a bag thing. Wait, what? Alan, I thought I told you to check for surveillance cameras. I was trying my best to be sneaky. I never noticed a camera in there. Stop. Quit fooling around and set Ivan free this instant. We're not letting you have him that easily. So are you suggesting that you're gonna get physical? If so, you're outnumbered, because it's six against three. Maybe this should make it a fair game. Oh god, you're gonna get mutilated. Oh it is so on. Well then, have fun in your own bloodbath. Are you sure about this? Yes. We will dominate them. Okay then, whatever you say goes. GET OVER HERE! Mondo, get the utility knife from Draken so you can cut these ropes to free me. I got your back clap a little harder. That was fast. This is actually a good knife to cut ropes with. Hurry! No. no! Wait, what's going on? Ah. Ow! You're not laying a finger on Clapper Loader Ivan again. Damn, he got me good. Me too. If Nathan went just a little more out the way, he would have got me in the eye. They're open. Ah! Devin, help 
Mondo and Diamond. I'm going upstairs and calling the police. Yes, Director Jeff. Be very careful and don't cut my hands. I'll try my best not to. Hey, who needs help? We're good, but help Martin and the girls. All right. Hey, who needs help? We're okay. Drake Nolbert, no, there might be coming back up. I'll get him. I think I'll be safe to get Nathan now. You're gonna have to get through me first. Damn it! Ha <laughs> ha. I knew you'd give up. All right, where's Jeffrey? He probably went upstairs to call the police. All right then, help the others out while I'm gone. Yes, Clapper Loader Ivan. Hey, you're finally free. Yeah, but my back hurts. How long have you been in that position? Like six hours, probably longer since I got tranquilized last night. Wait, did that really happen? I sure did. I woke up again at like three in the morning and was stuck in this position all the way until Nathan freed me. Oh. I never mentioned that to the police. It's probably good though, since I'll tell them when they arrive. Please do. I'll change real quick, and then I'll be back. Wait. Before you do, I learned your bedroom had a security camera and it managed to catch about all the footage of the kidnapping last night. Olivia showed that me through your phone. Good, because it needs to be shown to the police. Yeah. You can change now. Okay. I should be back before the cops arrive. Okay. Meet me in the basement because I'm checking up on Mondo. Okay. What's going on down here? They all surrendered. We told them you were calling the police to get them arrested for their misdeeds. As soon as they heard that they were getting arrested, they stopped fighting as it was redundant. Excellent. The police should be here shortly. Good. We so much want them gone. Me too, but I think they will be back within a few months. At least we actually don't have to worry about them for the time being. Yeah. I know. Do you just want us to chill in here until the police arrive? Yeah, I think you can just stay here and make sure the gang doesn't pull any last minute tricks on you. I'm gonna check up on Ivan. Okay then. That must be them. Hello. Hello, we received a call from you about a kidnapping involving 46 year old male Ivan Ray. Yes. The guy in blue next to me right now is indeed Ivan Ray. I'm free right now, but we will show you physical proof of what happened to me. Please do. We also have a search warrant so we can inspect the scene. Nice. You may come in. By the way, what are your names? I'm Officer Cross. I'm Officer Beckham. Okay. You may come in. So what's the issue? The footage shown here is from my security camera that is located in my bedroom and it shows a guy by the name of Alan Fuller trapping me in a bag and taking me out of the bedroom while I was sleeping. According to it, it took place at around 11.30 at night. Okay, we see that Alan Fuller was the kidnapper, so he basically committed a felony offense. Anything else? A girl with blonde hair and glasses by the name of Sandry Fuller along with a guy with brown hair by the name of Drake and Dixon were with Alan Fuller and when that happened which tells us they were in on the same scheme as well. Okay. Do you know where the three mansion people are right now? They are in my basement. Please lead us there. Gladly. All right, Mondo. The cops are here. We well figured. tamed. We have Those voices sounded unfamiliar. We are looking for Alan Fullard, Sandra Fuller, and Drake Dixon. Ivan Ray told us that you three, mainly Alan Fullard, we're doing a type of kidnapping scheme by trapping him in a bag and putting him in the basement. You're going to have to be arrested for doing a crime like this since it is considered a felony. Now freeze and put your hands behind your back. You, Alan. All of you are going to regret this decision for the rest of your damn lives. Silence. Silence. Rot in the shittiest prison in the state, you assholes. How's it like being free from being trapped in that position? Couldn't have been better. And the feeling of justice being served couldn't be better either. I most definitely agree with that statement. Us too. That notorious gang has always been pissing us off. Well, now that everything's resolved for the time being, I'll let you guys take the day off for your hard work. Aw, thank you. Anytime. Yeah, I was figuring you guys could rest since that was quite the task. Well, we genuinely appreciate that. Thanks.